Hey y'all and welcome to How Do You Cook Back to Basics. So as you all may already know, my Sam and Patty video is the most popular video on my channel. So I have been reading all of your comments and all of your suggestions on how you would make your salmon patties. So tonight I'm gonna make two cans of salmon patties made two different ways with your suggestions. So the first suggestion I'm gonna show you that I'm doing is I'm gonna be using the Demings red sockeye salmon. That's what I'm gonna be using on this one. I can already tell a difference because I've already taken the salmon out of the can and I've already cleaned it, removed all the bones and the skin. Um, a lot of you had said that you don't take the bones out of your salmon, but that's just what I do and um, that's just how I do it. I mean, everybody has their own way of making salmon patties and there's no wrong way of making them as long as it's what you like in your food. So, first thing we're gonna do, y'all, is I'm gonna bring you all down here because I have my peppers and onions and all that, and I'm gonna get all those ready and saute those up. So, I'm gonna bring you down and show you what I do. Okay, y'all, so first off, I wanted to show you my little machine that I use to chop up my onions and my bell peppers. I do this when I don't want um, huge chunks of any vegetable in my food food and I use this whenever I'm making my dressing too, my cornbread dressing. So this is a Black & Decker Handy Chopper Plus and it is so helpful y'all. It works so well and I'm just going to show you how I get my peppers ready. Okay, so I put some onion in here that's been already cut up a little bit and I'm gonna put some peppers in here. I'm putting a little bit of everything, some yellow, some green, some red peppers, it's just whatever you like. You don't have to add these if you don't want to, but um, I'm gonna try it out because this is how you guys said you would make yours. Okay. So I'm just gonna put that on there. It's nice and locked. Okay, I'm gonna take this off of here. And just put that there. I have about a tablespoon of butter in my pan here. And I'm just gonna pour this down in there. And it's okay if there are some chunks of peppers. So we just wanted to um, caramelize those just a little bit, not too much. Okay, so here are my onions and peppers. They're really finely chopped. And I'm just gonna heat these up, try to get some of those juices out before I put them in our canned salmon. Okay, y'all, I'm gonna go ahead and take these off of the heat and I'm gonna pour these into my strainer. Try to get some of that water out. So we're gonna start on our first can of salmon. This is what our salmon looks like. I've already deboned it and de-skinned it. This is what it looks like. It looks really nice, doesn't it, y'all? I'm gonna break this up a little bit. One of my viewers said that they normally add mashed potatoes. So I boiled a potato earlier and added a little bit of salt and pepper and a tablespoon of butter. And I'm gonna add half of this and just see what it looks like after that. You know what, no, I'm gonna add the entire potato. Cause I've never made salmon patties like this before. Okay y'all, so this is what our salmon looks like with our full potato in there. Now I'm gonna add some of our onions and pepper mixture. So I'm gonna measure this out so that you all know how much uh, to put in there. Like I said, this is a, a new recipe for me. I'm just uh, experimenting on your suggestions. I'm sure it's gonna be delicious y'all. So I have one third cup of peppers and onions, y'all. So this is what this looks like right now. I have my peppers and onions, I have my salmon, and I have my potato in here. So I'm gonna mix this around a little bit. And I think it's a little dry. I'm not gonna add an egg to it. So what I am gonna do though, 
I took your suggestion. I saved the juice from my salmon cans. I actually drained it into another bowl. So I'm gonna use a little bit of my salmon juice here and use that for my binder instead. And just see how that works out, y'all. I bet it's gonna be good. So you don't have any egg in here whatsoever. I'm gonna add just a little bit more. So I think this is good right here. Okay, so I'm gonna set this one over to the side and I'm gonna get my other one and we're gonna put something else in that one. Be back in a minute, y'all. Okay, y'all, we are back and we're ready to start on our other can of salmon. So instead of using a boiled potato, we're gonna be using crackers instead. We're gonna be using this as our filler instead of cornmeal or flour or any of that. So you're just gonna crumble those up into there. You be the judge on how many crackers you want in your salmon patties. I think that right there is enough. And now I'm gonna add my one third cup of sauteed onions and peppers. And I'm gonna try this without adding an egg. So I'll probably use the remaining juice that I have. Okay, so I'm gonna add my juice. Y'all be the judge on how uh, wet you want your salmon to be so you can form it up. Y'all, I've been meaning to do this um, video for a while because the way that I showed you originally was how my mother showed me how to do it. And just by, just by watching all the comments and all of your suggestions, it just popped in my head, hey, why not? Why not just make a video on your suggestions and and hey, it's gonna be great. I can already tell. I can already tell these are gonna be good, y'all. Okay, so those are good and mixed and I think that's all I'm gonna put in there. Okay, y'all, so we have our salmon batter with crackers, our sauteed onions and peppers, and salmon juice in here. We did not add an egg. This is this one with the crackers. And this one right here is the one with a, a boiled potato with butter, salt, and pepper, our sauteed onions and peppers, and our salmon juice. So I'm gonna get our frying pans ready, and I'll be back when we're ready to fry these babies up. We're gonna get our our salmon patty is prepared, uh, coated, and on a plate before we get these in a frying pan. We're gonna start with our salmon that has the potato in it. Now I'm gonna use my hands. So I will tell you I've washed my hands super clean and I'm gonna just take a big spoon. And I know in my last video y'all didn't see where I rolled up my patties. I have about this much in my palm here and this is about a really big golf ball size. Um, so I'm just gonna pat that down just like that. And just uh, try to make them as even as you possibly can all the way around. And if, if they start to uh, kind of pull apart, just kind of go around just like this and just try to put those back together. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna Dredge this in flour. Just like this. And put it in. Now I'm gonna use my hands. Up. Oh, it's not gonna work. Yes it is. I got it. <laughs> and put this just like that and just put it in your in your breadcrumbs there y'all now my breadcrumbs I will tell you I've already put salt and pepper in my breadcrumbs okay so there's that I hope that stays stuck <laughs> okay so I'm gonna get another spoonful See, that's about how much I have right there. Now, I don't really think we need the egg, y'all. I really don't think we need it at all.
Y'all, like I said, this is just an experiment because, uh, nope, that one's not going to do. I'll just mix it up. Okay, so that didn't work out. So we now know what not to do. So I'm gonna move this flour and all that over there, so. Okay, so you can see, this is my uh, ball of salmon. You kinda wanna roll it around in your hand a little bit and just make that perfect little patty and just go around the sides and get that those breadcrumbs there and then gently try to get that out of the breadcrumbs and just place it on your plate yeah i was reading the instructions on the panko uh, breadcrumbs and it said to dip your uh, food in flour first then um, an egg and then your crumbs but i really don't think you need any of that y'all i'm hoping these stay together when we go to fry them up okay y'all so now we're gonna um get our patties together for the mixture that has the crackers so i'm gonna use my spoon again and just make a large golf ball size in your palm I and mean, that's what that looks like right there and just kind of flatten it they don't have to be perfect just uh whatever you like dip it in my breadcrumbs there be gentle because you don't want it to fall apart okay so we're gonna get started frying up our salmon patties so you want to be really careful about getting your salmon patties off your plate and just place that down in there as easy as you possibly can now this one right here is the salmon patties made with the potato now I'm gonna cook four of these at once and I have three left and I'll cook those once these get done I'm going to go ahead and flip this one and see what it looks like. And it is falling apart, y'all. There we go. Got to be quick with it. It is time to put our salmon patties that we made with crackers in our pan. Now our other patties that we cooked that had a boiled potato in it, most of those kind of just fell apart. <laughs> I think it was too wet, but I did get one good patty out of it. So I'm hoping that these will turn out a little bit better. So I can already tell that these are gonna be better as far as sticking together better, you know, for forming that crust. Well, y'all, it is taste test time and I am ready to try out these salmon patties. So here they are. This one right here is the one that was made with the boiled potato. This one right here was the one made with crackers. I am going to give you my opinion on how these turned out. So I'm going to try out the one with uh, the boiled potato really quick. Just made a mess. Mm. That tastes very good. 
The salmon patty that was made with the boiled potato tastes really fresh. Um, you can definitely taste the flavor of the onions and the pepper, but you cannot taste the potato. Um, the potato was probably just as a filler to bind everything together. I thought it tasted really, really good. Um, the Deming's Red Sockeye Salmon tastes more fresh than the double Q that I made in the previous video. So I think I'm sold on the Deming's Red Sockeye Salmon. I think that's the one I'm gonna go to from now on because it just tastes so much fresher than the other. Okay, so I'm gonna try the one with made with crackers. I'm just gonna take a little edge. Tastes good, y'all. Mm -hmm. It tastes very good. So, these salmon patties right here taste so good. So fresh. And it, you can taste the salmon in it. And you can taste the onions and the pepper. But there aren't any big chunks of onion and pepper. But you can taste the flavor. It is really good, y'all. I am... I am very surprised at how how more fresh the red sockeye salmon tastes than the double Q. It just tastes so much better and I think I'm sold. I think it's the only canned salmon I'm gonna buy from now on. It is so good. So now, let me get to the viewer suggested things that I done to my salmon patties. In one of the patties, I put in a boiled potato, sauteed onions and peppers, just a little bit of the juice of the uh, canned salmon. I think I put a little bit too much of the juice in there uh, because they kinda, they, they wanted to fall apart. And another thing too, I think I'm gonna not use breadcrumbs in my salmon patties. I will either use a little bit of cornmeal inside and or coat my salmon patties in cornmeal because the panko breadcrumbs tend to fall away from your patties and get into the oil and burn. They can burn because once you try to put your salmon patties in the pan, your pan has to be a little bit on the hot side so that when you put your patties in there, it can start to form that crust on the bottom. Well, when I first started making these patties and frying them up, I did not wait long enough for my pan to get hot and my first batch of salmon patties were basically mush. They just did not want to stick together. So I, that, that was actually the first time I have ever had that happen to me. With the other salmon patty made with crackers, I think that one is more of a winner for me because the crackers can absorb more of of the uh, salmon juice and stay together a little bit better. I did not have any problems cooking these salmon patties right here, but I will say the panko breadcrumbs is a no for me. I do not like the breadcrumbs cooking in my oil. I like to have a little bit more control over my salmon patties when they're cooking. My only suggestion would be that I would not use as much juice in my salmon patties and no panko, but um, they tasted great though, y'all. I mean, they tasted so good, and you can taste the actual sam salmon. You can taste it more in here, and I and the peppers and onions enhances the flavor of the salmon. Some of them did kind of flub up, but you know that's how we all learn and um, do things the way that we do them. And hey, they still eat. <laughs> You can still eat them regardless. Well, that wraps up this episode on how do you cook back to basics. I hope you enjoyed this episode. And if you did, please hit that thumbs up button and please do consider subscribing to this channel. And don't forget to hit that bell notification so you don't miss out on any of my upcoming videos. Until next time, bye bye y'all.